what they're doing is, is a mass peaceful protest in London, 30,000 to 100,000 people. They've got two main major demands, citizen assemblies, and most importantly, their top demand is that the government should stop investing in new fossil fuels. The UN General Secretary has said investment in new fossil fuels is economic and moral madness. So therefore, what, the, what this protest is doing is pulling the emergency cord and saying to the government, stop turbocharging North Sea oil because it's actually a, 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 a threatening the, the survival of humanity. OK, so that's the message. What about the London Marathon, though, on Sunday? Because, as we understand it, the, the race organiser said he's received unique assurances from uh, Extinction Rebellion that it won't be targeted. Yeah. That's what you understand. That's been a non-story for, for six to eight months. They, they have both agreed that there would not be any protests. It's not an issue. But what they're actually doing, they're actually saying, of course, the, the, the London, London Marathon has many people running it who support climate action and who support the, the aims of the today's protest and wish that the government should take action. The idea that the government is, is actually what it's done since, in, since Sunak has become um, Chancellor and Prime Minister, it's actually given huge tax breaks to North Sea Oil and put a windfall tax on renewables and banned, we're the only country in the world that's banned onshore wind. Now okay. that is surely criminal behaviour. Okay, and, and the government would no doubt, if they were here, defend their, their record on those climate issues. But on, on the issue of a protest and what's effective, um, Lauren McEvert, um, do you welcome the assurances from Extinction Rebellion that they will leave the London Marathon out of their protest this weekend? Well, I think it's probably one of the more sensible things that they've done, because frankly, what I think Extinction Rebellion have ended up doing to themselves, and Just Stop Oil are in the, the same category as this, is they've alienated a huge chunk of people within Middle England who actually fundamentally agree with a lot of what they're saying. People who live in, for example, rural communities who say, well, you know what, I have noticed the climate changing. My farming neighbour has changed 200-year planting schedules on the basis of rains changing. So, of course, I recognise that the climate has changed. But super gluing yourself to a motorway, or bringing London to a standstill. Neither of these are options that actually win over hearts and minds to your argument, particularly when you abuse statistics to the extent that Extinction Rebellion do. They often point to the 8.5 RC, RCP figure, which is not a forecast. It is a model being used by IPCC. If nothing changes, then indeed coal consumption goes up. So as long as Extinction Rebellion are using shoddy statistics and are blocking up hospital routes in central London, my own father was blocked by 20 minutes going into a diabetic coma, going to a hospital by Extinction Rebellion in 2019. So I can't stand these people because they put him at risk. And I think many people are in the same camp as me. What would you say to that, Doug? Uh, well, uh, it, it, the lady says she is concerned about people in ambulances. Absolutely right. What about the Tory government's record on ambulances? Hundreds of people every month dying because of lack of ambulance services. So this is a, this is a canard. The, any protest will occupy a street. Any protest will actually cause an uh, uh, interruption in a city. So the idea, that, that's a canard. What we need to focus on is actually, for example, the 30 million people in Sudan facing death from, from starvation and the 33 million people in Pakistan suffering from, from okay. flooding. So that's where the real concern should be. Sorry to cut you off. Yes, but very short the, time UK, the, the, UK, the UK's carbon emissions globally are 0.93% at the end of 2021 Absolutely. as percentage of overall carbon emissions. Okay. The cannot here is pointing to ambulance times in the Tory government and not Extinction Rebellion blocking ambulance routes. I'm sorry, uh, uh, Lauren, but the cannot briefly. is also pointing to Sudan and not the UK. We only have 30 seconds, Lauren. What does make effective protest then? Just, just marching in the street peacefully? Do, do, do politicians actually listen to that? Very briefly. No, they don't. Lobby your members of parliament. Bring them legitimate statistics that you're concerned about. Don't start falsifying IPCC's models instead of actual legitimate forecasts. Bring logic and reason to the table and don't just it, you know, participate okay. in what is extended performance art on the streets of London. OK, we are so short of time, but Donica and Lauren, we really appreciate your time. Thanks both so much. Thank you.